Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I'm so excited for today's video. Today, Jeremy and I have to go into a body shop to get his car worked on. He has today off for Juneteenth, so that's great, because we need to both drive so that one of us isn't stuck. But our neighbor actually backed into his car the other day when they were going to work, and so we have to go and get some of the um, damage taken care of. Luckily, they're paying for it. It's not a big deal. We didn't have to get insurance involved, so we are going to go get it worked on, drop it off. But where we are dropping it off is very close to Second Avenue Thrift Store, and I love that place. And actually, Jeremy suggested that we go thrifting after we drop off the car. So we're gonna head there and look around, get some stuff to resell. Hopefully, not too much, but enough to make it worth it for sure. We'll look for ourselves as well, and then I'll take you guys with me, and hopefully we'll have a great thrifting time. And then maybe we'll get lunch too while we're out, maybe a chai, who knows? Let's see where the day carries us, but that is the plan. I'm gonna take you guys thrifting with us. We're gonna have a good time, so let's head to the thrift. I know these dragon bones because they're just so small. Mm -hmm. These clocks are so cool. Okay, everybody, so we are back home. Jeremy and I actually were there for what, like, how many hours do you think we were there? Almost. We were there for probably about three hours, maybe, give or take. Some of that obviously is sorting time. We did have a lot of sorting time actually because whenever Jeremy comes with me, we get two carts and so then I have to sort both carts because Jeremy is not as familiar with the sorting process and checking comps. So that usually takes a little bit longer, but then you also have two people looking for things. So I'm taking things out of this bag. They started um, charging for bags and I have reusable bags. So that's not a problem. So I had to put everything in this, but in total, we were supposed to spend, I think like $85 or something like that, but I had a discount and some of these things were 33% off, some of them were half off. And so we actually got a great deal on so many things. I'm really excited about what we found. I also found some new to me brands, some good like bread and butter brands, and then also like some stellar finds. So let's jump into what we found today at the thrift store. The first thing that I found I was so excited about, this is a beautiful leather purse and it's this really fun kind of like baguette shape. And I recognized this logo on the front because I recently picked up a bag from the same designer that my mother-in-law purchased. I don't know if you know what that is, but I'm gonna give it one more look so you can look at it because it's actually quite helpful. It has the little feet on the bottom. This might be vintage from her actually, but this is Patricia Nash, which is a great find. I didn't even look up comps, I just grabbed it. It was something crazy like five bucks or something. And it also has the crossbody strap on the inside, so we can attach that. But this is what it looks like on the inside. It's a gorgeous like suede interior. And then here is the Patricia Nash logo on the inside. This is a beautiful bag. Like this is well made, super nice. Originally it probably cost a little over $200, I think is what our last one cost. So then here is the strap. It is a gorgeous bag. I'm thinking for this, we'll probably resell it 
we had the last one listed around like a hundred dollars so maybe hopefully that'd be great if we could sell it around a hundred i just loved the style of this i love the little metal clasp here at the top that closes i think this is a gorgeous really cute bag i love the brown leather color it does have a few different little small marks on it but i think that it might be vintage so that was a great find, really happy with that. And if we sell that for around $100, then that will pay for the whole haul, which is great. And then we actually got a fair amount of shoes. I've never bought a single pair of shoes here, I don't think. But I actually went through and took the time to look through the shoes today. And I'm glad I did, because we found lots of good things. We also, at the end, while I was sorting, we found three different pairs of Nike Air Force Ones all in a row that were all Jeremy's size. And we had Jeremy try them on, but he decided he didn't want them. Right, Jeremy? Yeah, they didn't feel as comfortable as my Alberts. So <laughs> the Alberts are definitely more comfortable, he said. Um, but since we spent so much time in the shoe section, I found some good pieces. This piece I recognize by the backs, actually. This textured little bit that sticks up because I just got myself a pair of Ugg tennis shoes from the discount, no, from the last chance store in Chicago. And so when I saw that pattern, I just knew that these were Uggs. So these were a men's pair of kind of like Chelsea boot style Uggs. Actually, these have a different name. I cannot think of it right now, but they're like a shorter little boot and they're in this black suede, which is really nice. And they're a lace up. So I thought these were really nice. The bottoms are in great shape. They are in a size 10 and a half, which is, which is actually what Jeremy's shoe size is. So I might have him try these on maybe like as a church shoe. And then we would both have new Ugg shoes and that would be adorable. So I got those and these are really reasonably priced. I was kind of shocked because a lot of the clothes, they were just marking up like crazy there. I think I got a clip of a dress from ASOS that was not even new. It wasn't new with tags or anything for $40. I was like, what the heck? But these Ugg little shoes were only $5.49. So I don't know what they're thinking, but those were a good find. I bet I can resell those around $50. So those were a good pickup. And then this next piece I picked up is this beautiful dress. Look at how pretty this is. This is in a petite size eight. And I would say it's about a knee length, maybe a little bit past the knee. Maybe, oh, actually this is petite. So it's probably about a midi length, maybe knee length dress. But it has this really beautiful print and all these fun ruffles on the skirt and also on the bodice. And this is from a brand that I've actually had pretty good luck with recently selling, and that is Sundance. So I just sold a like pinkish, purplish colored denim jacket from Sundance for I think about $40, which is not bad. Um, for a petite side, it's eight. This is a gorgeous dress. It has so much flounce and flair to it. I bet I can sell this between 50 and 75. And actually I did see quite a few dresses listed around 75 to like $85. So I thought that was a really pretty one. So I grabbed that. Oh, and it was a yellow tag. Yellow tags were 33% off and green tags were half off. I think I went the whole time without seeing like more than five green tags though. So this might've been the end of the run for the green tags, but this one was a yellow tag and it was marked at $14.29, which is a little bit pricey for a thrift store dress, but for being 33% off, I think at the end of the day, I paid $10, maybe less for it because I had a discount on top of everything because I spend so much money at the store. Every time I go, I get 10% off on my next visit, which is great. So got that. And then I found this really cute Lily Pulitzer skirt. I saw the colors sticking out. And of course I said, oh, that's definitely Lily Pulitzer. I thought this was kind of interesting with this more like embroidered kind of detailing going down the middle of the front of the skirt. But that was kind of fun. We have a zipper on the back here. And this is in a Lily Pulitzer size four. So here is the Lily tag. I have been selling a lot of Lily Pulitzer lately. We sold a couple of dresses recently and then one that I already sent out on eBay. Jeremy got a like a hundred dollar offer for the other day on Poshmark, which is unfortunate because we did not delete it. But it just goes to show that this brand really does sell well. So this is in 100% cotton, but it's a really nice little pink and blue, some yellow in there, dress. I thought that was a cute little pickup. I think this was like $4. So that was a good price to pay for Lily. That is great. <laughs> I probably can resell that right around $35. That's what I sold the last skirt I had for. So I'm hoping 35, maybe 40 for that. And then I picked up this little pair of jeans. I always find a lot of jeans at this store. 
this is no exception. I found this pair of Citizens of Humanity jeans and these are in the Emmanuel Slim Boot Cut in a size 26. So this is what the Citizens of Humanity logos look like and then we have style names up there. The sizes on the inside on the other side. These are only marked at $6.79, which is pretty good for jeans um, anywhere, but especially at the store. So this is what they look like. They're just, you know, that slim boot. But I looked up comps for this because I had never seen that Emmanuel style. I thought that was an interesting name. And these actually look like they're selling pretty well. So I decided to grab these for $6. It looked like they could resell around $75, which I would be happy with. Citizens of Humanity has been do doing pretty well for me, so I do think that this should do well as well. So hopefully we'll sell them between 50 and 75. I might list at 75, maybe 85, but I'm gonna hope to land around that $50 mark at the least. So then I picked up another pair of shoes. Jeremy actually found these. He went off to look around and he came back with these. He said he found these. Where'd you say you found these, Jeremy? They're in just a random bo uh, basket in the home goods section. <laughs> Somebody stuffed these in a random basket in the home goods. So, um, we're glad that we found them though because they look pretty sweet from the side. They're a pair of Nikes, but look at the coolness factor here. We've got the double swoosh. This part is really super cool actually. Um, but these are a Nike Air. And then it says Ma Air Max on the bottom, but they're a Nike Air 270 which is something to uh, take note of. So up here on the tongue, it says the Air 270. We looked up this style. It's really interesting. There's a lot of stuff going on. It does have a little bit of a schmutz on it. We'll try to wash it off. Um, but the 270s were selling for a lot of good money. Like these were marked at $7.49. Great price for a pair of tennis shoes. And a lot of these were selling like around like $90, which is kind of crazy. These are a women's size nine, which is my size. So I can also model these in shots if I need to. And something that I didn't realize because I've never picked up shoes from the store before is that they mark on the bottom of the shoes in, I don't know if it's Sharpie or just regular marker, but they wrote the price, which is eight. And then the letter for the tag, which is the P for purple. Um, which is a little unfortunate. We've been um, hurt by that in the past when I picked up a pair of Christian Louboutins and they wrote on the bottom $9.99 in black Sharpie right on the bottom of the red, you know, like the bottoms of Louboutins. Not the best situation, but if we can't get them out, they'll still sell. I'm pretty sure it will not matter, but I just thought those were kind of cool. You see how it's like clear there at the bottom? But these are a cool color combination probably seven dollars into them and then we'll sell hopefully around 75 that'd be great so again that would make back most of the money we spent today which is absolutely fabulous so then next up i found this pair of perforated leather kind of like um open tone mules and they're in this great like light brown color but these are also from ugg which i thought was kind of interesting they're the kulabura for ugg brand but these were only marked at 4.99 so I got these for 33% off of $5, great price. And these are a great size too. These are a women's size 11, which is not bad at all. I really have a hard time finding larger size shoes for women. They're usually pretty picked over. So I grabbed those. I thought those were really cute for summer and they have so much good tread left on them. Like they look amazing actually. It does have some like dirt on there, but the actual tread itself is in great condition. So I grabbed those for less than $5 and we'll probably resell those around 35, maybe 40 to 50 at the very highest. But we'll be hoping to make like at least that $35 amount on those. And then this is a home good. This is the only home good I think we picked up. And we just were like literally in this aisle about to leave. And then I saw this sitting on the edge of the shelf and I got really excited because this is a hydro flask. And I mean, these are pretty popular right now. This is a shorter one. This is my lemon water bottle and then this is my the hydro flask I found um but it's this really kind of fun mustard yellow almost like a macaroni yellow color it says hydro flask down here has the emblem and guys this was only a dollar 99 isn't that crazy so for two dollars we picked this up but I also had a discount so I got it for less than two dollars and I have never found one of these I've never seen one in person so I was excited to grab this I have no idea what these resell for I'm sure they resell for more than $1.99, but 
it could be something like 25 maybe it's more i'm not really quite sure especially since it's a shorter one but for $1.99 even if we don't sell it we'll use it i just thought that was an exciting really like trendy kind of find so that was exciting for us then next up i found this pair of shoes which i thought were really interesting these are very kind of like trendy right now but also i just thought these were so kind of fun they have so much going on these have like all this almost like and not embroidery, but like patchwork detailing up here on the toes. It's like a little embroidered heart right there. Then all this patchwork detailing, we have all of this kind of other kind of patterns on this side, like more floral and then a different floral on this side. The heel itself is a different color. And then we have also all these flowers on the bottom. Now, these are from the brand Irregular Choice, which I had not heard of, but the inside is also like so soft and like velvety. It's very interesting. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but there is the brand Irregular Choice. And these are in a size European 38 and a half, which I believe this is probably what, like a seven and a half, eight and a half, somewhere around in there. But I thought they were so interesting. I had to look them up. And this brand can resell for good money. Like I think these should resell for at least 50 bucks, maybe more close to like that $85 amount. So definitely an interesting pickup. When you find something like really interesting and different like this, usually it does go for good money. And so I definitely wanted to check out the comps on it. Comps looked really good. These are in great shape. Like even the floral pattern on the bottom here is not really worn off at all. So these were really nice. Um, very interesting. I definitely feel like there's a market for these. So I was happy to grab those. Grab them for like eight bucks, not too bad. And hopefully we'll make like at least 50 off of them. And then we got a Nike sweatshirt for Jeremy for five bucks. So I'm gonna throw this and put this in the laundry pile for him. And then I got this dress. Now this dress is going out on a limb. It was a green tag, that's the only reason I got it. But I was looking through the dress section and I got really excited to see this. It's a Diane von Furstenberg dress. And Diane, von, Diane von Furstenberg can do really well. It retails for a lot. It can resell for a lot too. This is what the tag looks like. It was six dollars so i got this for three dollars and like 15 cents size 10 everything's going well it has some stains on the front so it's kind of a skater skirt really thick nice coral dress but then here on the front i hope you can see there are some dots right there on the front of the dress now i took a chance on this to see if i could get those dots out if i can't get them out i'll just sell it as is but if I could get those out, that'd be great. Maybe if I can't get them out, maybe I'll do some sort of like self dyeing project to it. I'm not sure, but the brand really got me. I just felt like it was worth the chance for $3, a little bit less than $3 too with my discount, but there is a little zipper that goes down the back. And this is a very interesting, almost like neoprene feeling fabric. Let's see what it is. It's actually, it is dry clean only from DVF. It's 94% nylon, 6% elastane. So grab that. Hopefully we can get some stains out. If you guys have any suggestions for how to get this kind of stain out, let me know down below. I usually do blue Dawn dish soap, but if you have something that really works wonders, I would love to hear it. Let me know about it. Then we grabbed this pair of Madewell jeans for about $8. I always find Madewell jeans there. This one has a little bit of an upturn at the bottom. Really nice light wash, some whiskering and distressing. Not really distressing, but more like whiskering throughout. These are the mom jean and they're in a size 28. So I decided to grab these. This is the mom jean and then this is the Madewell logo. I've been doing really well reselling Madewell jeans lately. I've been selling them kind of outright quite often for around 50 to $60. The mom jeans, I think I've sold these before and they did pretty well for me. I'm expecting around that 50 to $60 amount. These were only $8, size 28 is a good size. Mom jeans notoriously run small in my opinion and so I'll have to disclose that on the listing but it's so easy to find Madewell stock photos that was a great pickup. Hopefully it will make like, you know, $40 at the end of the day. And then I'm saving an exciting find for the end. Like I always try to do. I found those and I literally showed them to Jeremy. We're both like, are these real? So stay tuned for that. That'll be the last piece. But this is another exciting find. I found this pair of tennis shoes. Maybe you can tell what they are just from looking at them. This is a collab between Fenty and Puma. So 
There is where it says Fenty by Rihanna up there on this little part. It has a Velcro little snap and it comes off and then you can, you know, tie up the shoe. But these I found from just the back here. This was what was sticking out. It just said Rihanna and I was like, ooh, how exciting. These look like they have hardly ever been worn. They're in great condition. And again, very reasonably priced at the thrift store. I think that they were charging, what, like four or five dollars for these? Let me try to find, oh, there it is. Yeah, they were charging six dollars and 49 cents, which is not bad at all. And these are in a women's size eight and a half. So, great find for like, what, six and a half dollars? Less than that after my discount. I have only found a pair of these once before and they were out of Plato's closet. I think they were like 30, $30 maybe, which was a good price there for them. But I feel like this top part might be leather. Like they're really cool. I like that they're all black. I was looking at comps and I think that they should resell around like 65, maybe $50 at the least. So again, great find. I'm happy to find anything that I can resell for 50 bucks at the thrift store. So those were a cool find. I've never really found a Fenty pair of shoes and gone them before, so I was excited about that. And then I grabbed a pair of jeans. These are very small, and I love finding small pairs of jeans because a lot of times they will mistag them at the store to be children's, and children's jeans are much cheaper than adult jeans. So this is a pair of Adriana Goldschmied jeans, and I like picking them up. These are the Stilt Cigarette Jeans from Adriana Goldschmied AG. Over here is the logo. Um, I think I've actually sold these before. Jeremy, have we sold these before? The stilt cigarette leg? That sounds familiar. I feel like we have. Um, but these are made in California and these are a size 25. So 25 is a pretty small size, but these were only $3.79. So definitely worth grabbing for under $4 for sure. I would pick these up in the bins in a heartbeat. And these are just kind of like a skinny leg jean, mid-wash blue. I would say we can resell those probably around 35 to 40 at the end of the day. I'll probably list around 50 to 45, somewhere in there. And then we'll hopefully make that $30 amount. And then this piece that I picked up, Jeremy found this one. I don't know when you found this one. When did you find this dress? Cause I was, I didn't even see you pick this up. You were right next to me. Was I really? Yeah. Oh, was it? Okay, interesting. Um, but he found this dress. I thought this was a cute little kind of boho style super cute for spring summer um and it's this really nice kind of like flowy gauzy material but this is from Maeve so an anthropology dress and this is in a US size six at the end of the day I think we got this for like eight dollars really cute pink dress it has this slip dress underneath but also how they did the hem makes it look really flouncy and like ruffly which I think is really cute it is really short so I would say it's kind of more like tunic length if you're tall. If you're short, maybe a mini dress. I could be wrong. It's just maybe I'm 5'10", and so that kind of skews how I think of like short and long things, but I feel like this is quite short, but it's so cute. I love the material's feel, and it does have that slip underneath. I sell a lot of our more like anthropology dresses right around $50, so I'm assuming that is what I'll probably list that one around as well then hope to make at least like $35 at the end of the day. Okay, three more items. Last one is pretty um, insane in my opinion. This is another pair of small jeans that got mistagged and they were also a yellow tag. So this is my first time ever picking up Can Can. I have seen this brand, but it's always marked up. I've seen it at Buy Sell Trade Stores. I've seen it at Goodwills. I've seen it everywhere. And I see a lot of other resellers picking it up too, but I just have never found it at a price point worth it to give it a chance or in a style worth it enough to give it a chance. But today is the day I found a pair of just plain mid-wash dark blue skinny jeans and these were marked at $3.99. So for $4 plus 33% off plus my 10% off on top of everything else, I thought today is the day. I will try out this brand. Let me know if you guys like selling this brand. Um, this is in a size 26. So honestly, these look smaller than the last pair of jeans I held up, but these are stretchier. So it says a size five slash 26. So that is what they look like. Again, they're from the brand Can Can. First can is with a K, second can is with a C. Not sure what that's all about, but I decided to grab those and we'll see if I can sell those. I'm hoping for 35 on those and for that like $3 price point 
definitely that would be worth it. So then next up is another pair of shoes that Jeremy actually found. We were in the same section, but man, there were just so many shoes that we were just like shoe overloaded. Jeremy was feeling overwhelmed for sure. I was trying to look through all of them. Um, but this is a brand that I pass on a lot of the time, especially if they're not in con condition because I feel like a lot of people wear coach shoes into the ground. But today we found this pair of coach kind of espadrille wedges and these are really cute. I really like these. They have a nice little tie up system so it'll tie around your ankle and your leg. I thought the coloring of this was really nice. You know, that little crossover, open toe, nice pair of wedges. These were marked low. Usually people mark up coach like to the sky, I feel like. These were only $4, $4.49. They were really right on with their pricing for me today, at least for shoes. Um, but these are also in my size. They're a size nine. So I thought at the very least, I can wear them if I don't feel like they're worth selling, but they have been worn. You can see some wear, you know, on the footbed, but I mean, I feel like these still have a lot of life left in them. The sides look great. The bottoms look like they still have a lot of good tread. It just looks like somebody like maybe wore these and got them a little dirty, which is not a big deal at all in my opinion. So that is another pair of shoes. I'm going to hope to sell these probably around $50 is my guess. Maybe if I wear them, maybe I'll wear them for a little bit. Jeremy, do you like these? Nice. Do you think I would look cute in them? Yes. Okay, good good answer, right? Good answer. Um, okay, so I grabbed those. I like the coach shoes. I think they're nice. I pass on a lot of them lately just because the comps haven't been there, but for a pair of shoes like that, I thought that they were worth it. Now, this last pair of shoes, I don't know. Do you think that these are real? <laughs> Not sure. They feel nice. They do feel nice. I feel like they're definitely from Supreme. I don't know if the Louis Vuitton part of it is real. Let's, let's look, let's show you guys what they are. This is a pair of slides that I found that have Supreme written on them and the Louis Vuitton logo. Now, you guys might know more than I do about Supreme. I just know that they sell for a lot. So I looked at the bottom and the bottoms look like really actually pretty good. Like this is what the bottom should look like. It has Supreme written in here. If this was a cheap dupe, I feel like they would not have done that. And then it has the star pattern. These are in a size eight. Now, somebody wore these. Like this one especially has more wear on it. Like a little chunk is missing out of the sole here. Somebody, you know, they wore these, but for them still being, you know, pretty in good shape, they have the Louis Vuitton logo on them. I looked up and some other people also had shoes that looked kind of like this. So I was kind of feeling good about it. And these were like $4. So I was like, I feel like it's worth the chance, right? Especially for having the Louis Vuitton logo all over them. And it looks pretty crisp too. Like it's not a really bad logo. The Supreme part is raised. I'm thinking, I'm thinking they look pretty good, but I'll have to look up some more. I didn't have tons of time to look things up, so... I kind of just went with it, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If these are real, I could probably sell them around $50 to $100. So here's hoping. Even if they're fake, I'll find a use for them, I'm, I'm sure. Maybe I can just um, take them to buy, sell, trade. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, <laughs> those are those pairs of slides. Thought that was interesting to find them at least. Even if they're not authentic, it is the first time I've ever found Supreme and Louis Vuitton. So... I'll take it if they're real. We'll see if they're real. It'll be a good find. So that was the last piece of the haul. Let me know down below which piece was your favorite. We did take Jeremy's car to the shop. It should be fixed here soon. And then he and I are going to be going on vacation very soon. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to take a break from filming for vacation, what I'm going to do, but I will let you guys know about that in the coming weeks. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.